What's up guys, it's Corey here with Dapper Dollars, and today it's time to spark up the age-old debate, what sells better, text-based designs or illustrations? Let's get into it. Now, personally, text-based designs sell the best for me. I am a graphic designer, so I do illustrations as well, but you know, being a one-man team, text-based designs are mostly what I focus on, so that's also probably a big reason of why they sell you know, or why most of my portfolio is made up of text-based designs. I do have illustrations in there, but it's just the ease of text-based designs makes things so much faster to put shirts up on Amazon and actually get them to sell and start ranking. Now, typography is a huge part of why these text-based designs do so well. You know, you can't just put Helvetica on a shirt and hope that it sells. You know, you've got to, whenever you do text-based designs, you have to do it with excellence and purpose. There can't just be three fonts that you think look good. There has to be some strategy to why you put these specific fonts together. And I'll link to a website that I use here to do uh, font pairings, and it, uh, it's a real great cheat sheet if you aren't like big on typography. It's a great way to get started and to see why certain designs look good because different fonts are used together. Now also typography and text-based designs are great because you are able to get a bunch of designs done and they're so much more versatile than illustrations. You know, if you go into a trend or, you know, one of these awareness months and that's using a saying, it's a lot easier to change that saying and to change the text than it is to order like a $50 illustration and you know have to completely redo it if you know you're getting people who are coming in and copying your illustration so unless you watch another video that I made about how to get free $50 illustrations I think that would show up somewhere on the side maybe I don't know over there but uh, I have made a video about how to get free $50 illustrations once a month so check out that if you want to learn more about how to get free illustrations but typography is just much easier to go after and text-based designs are so much easy easier to change than illustrations if you're going after things like trends or you need to you know worry about someone stealing what you're doing or you know if you or happen if you happen to be you know, jumping into a market where someone's already made a phrase, you can easily change that design and that phrase to fit something else that's different but says the same thing, but it's just different enough that it gives you an edge to start getting sales. So that's another reason I love, you know, text-based designs over illustrations. And it's just so much easier to do text-based designs. Now, what really works for me is adding a little bit of uh, graphics to these text-based designs. You know, maybe uh, like the trucker shirts are usually a good uh, example that, you know, a long phrase with some sort of vector graphic that ties visually to what the phrase is actually about. So, you know, one of the shirts that does well for me is blessed by God, spoiled by a trucker, loved by both, I think. And then I've got like a cross and a truck on the t-shirt design. So it just kind of ties everything together and it's a visual element to what's being said on the shirt. So if you want to take those text-based designs to the next level, it's always great to use a few vector graphics here and there. And you know, that'll really help just tie together everything. But if you, what I've noticed is on the illustrations where I did go all in, uh, like some of the vegan workout shirts, I did, um, like a stock of broccoli deadlifting something, or like I think I've talked about the squat tato shirt where it's a potato back squatting. And those designs seem to do really well if you just have like one word on there. So mixing text with a detailed illustration is a good idea if the text is just like one word or two words. You don't wanna have like squatting is the best thing in the world all day every day and then an illustration just because the illustration is going to get lost in the text and it doesn't really you know it doesn't really do much good to pay a designer to do an illustration if you're not gonna have it be the focal point so if you're gonna do 
illustrations with text, make sure it's just one word or maybe two words with a detailed illustration. That way the illustration does most of the talking and it just supports the phrase that you have on the shirt. So text-based designs, in my opinion, are really where it's at. Text-based designs with a little bit of graphics. Just, you know, just enough to tie in what you're talking about with a text-based design. Now, illustrations that have worked for me, you know, um, usually I'll break apart the V-Gains. V-Gains is a V-E-G-A-I-N-S is a you know, something that vegans say, whatever, vegan workout people say. And I've got a V-Gains design with a different, like, anamorphic vegetables. So, like, vegetables that have eyes and mouth and, you know, have an expression with arms and legs. These designs seem to do really well if they're more of, like, a 2D-ish design, like a 2D design with some light shadowing not like a full-on 3D image, 3D looking image of, you know, what an actual potato would look like if it was squatting. So if you're going to do illustrations, and again, this is all based on your niche. I know this works for me because I know the vegan niche really well. And if you want to get to know a niche really well, I think I put out a video the other day of how to, or why it's better to just go into one or two or three niches instead of spreading yourself so thin because you're able to get to know each niche individually. So I know that 2D-ish designs work really well for vegans because I'm in this space. Now this might not be this thing for you, like maybe you're in the scuba diving niche and you know they really love like super detailed three-dimensional you know real colorful designs. That's not the case in the vegan niche. So again take this with a grain of salt I'm not in your niche, so I don't really know. But for me, the um, things that work best are just 2D-ish designs that are illustrations. You know, and especially if you're going to do uh, illustrations, make sure you don't copy what other people are doing because there's nothing more frustrating and you're not gonna, you're gonna waste your money because if an illustration is already selling and you make a similar illustration, you know, you're not gonna beat you're not gonna beat that person because they were there first. They could take your design off of Amazon if they wanted to. So just don't do it. It's not worth the risk of having your account punished. And if you're drawing these images, these illustrations yourself, do not try to copy someone else's style. Like usually, what I do if I'm gonna make an anamorphic vegetable, I'll get a real vegetable and then I'll outline what the vegetable, like the, you know, kind of situation I want the vegetable to be in and I'll just delete the picture from there and then use my own style of how I like stuff to look as far as like cartoony stuff and then I'll make that illustration based off of what I like. I don't get someone else's cartoon, put it into Photoshop and then trace over it and then try to sell that because, you know, it just, for whatever reason, it doesn't look good whenever someone sees a design that has, you can tell whenever you're an illustrator that, and you really appreciate design, that some designs just don't look good because you can tell they've got two different styles. This is probably going way too in depth into this, but just personally, say, this is what I've experienced. Save yourself the trouble, save yourself the money if you're gonna pay someone to do this. Make sure you have a designer and you are a di designer yourself that just sticks with your own style. Don't try to copy. Sorry about the dog. But anyway, yeah, text-based designs are best for me personally. They are what make up at least 80% of my portfolio. Illustrations are great, but illustrations in conjunction with text are even better. So I guess, yeah, final verdict for me is text-based designs are best. And that's always what I love, so it makes me money. Now, if you enjoyed this content, like and subscribe. And remember, somebody's going to do something great every day, guys. Why not you? See ya.